Hey guys, Jen with Astro Tea. Today's stone is lapis lazuli. And I would like to thank uh, World Magic Gifts in North Conway, New Hampshire for this beautiful little guy. Uh, it's nestled right at the bottom of Mount Washington. So if you're ever visiting up there, skiing, whatever, definitely check this place out. I love it. It's one of my favorite stores up there. Um, so this stone, lapis lazuli, is associated with the third eye chakra. It promotes clear and logical thinking and is associated with the planets Saturn, Venus, and I would also add Mercury in there as well because of that clear thinking. Um, it's beneficial to the signs of Virgo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, and Libra. Um, Capricorn, uh, of course, because it ruler is Saturn um, and Virgo as it's a stone of truth. Virgo is all about truth and you know not lying and just being honest um, and finding out the truth. So that's that mercurial, uh, that earthy you know mercurial and helping it can help with shyness. It can help um, with our communication skills. So if you're shy use this to meditate kind of bring you out of your shell a little bit. Um, it's the birthstone of Taurus, so it promotes serenity and harmony, and that harmony brings in Libra, which helps stay balanced in an uneasy situation. So it can really help if you're just feeling unsure. It um, With Sagittarius, it encourages that confidence. Um, you know how a Sag is? It just really kind of pushes that confidence level um, because it helps balance and control emotions and stress. It can help with making tough decisions. So if there's something that you're grappling with, you know, should I take this new job? Uh, should I stay with this person? Is this person the right one for me? Meditate with the stone and open that third eye chakra and it will really help you kind of see the answer to your question that you are grappling with. Um, the stone has religious ties uh, dating back to 5000 BC and it was very popular used in ancient Egypt. It symbolizes again truth and higher wisdom and it's finding out the truth and knowing you know what the truth is from untruths it promotes that serenity acting like a repellent of bad energy so if you feel like you're getting a lot of negative energy coming towards you this is almost like teflon so you know you keep this stone maybe get a necklace of it and it almost like lets that negative energy just fall right off or bounces it back on the person that is reflecting it your way it can help with issues of the throat, larynx, and thyroid. Anything in this general area, that's the Taurus in there um, that we see you know, with the Taurus. And I could use this about now because I am having some major throat issues. I think I have a little summer vid going on. I have no idea. But um, anyway, because it works to open that third eye, um, use it when, you know, if you are a tarot reader, if you're an ast astrologer, um, Anything that you're you're reading and kind of predicting and looking into gives you that insight a little bit more in, into the truth. It can help see the truth and not just what you want to see. So you might you know be looking at something and say, "Oh, this is great. It's great for my relationship." Oh no, it actually isn't going to be that great. So it'll help you just see the truth anyway, not always negative. Um, use in unison with the clear crystal to amp amplify those protective readings especially so if you put it together do a reading for somebody if you're into tarot um really uh, accentuates that it also helps us bonding so this is again bringing that um Libra in there um, in relationships. It releases the negative holds though that you may have. When dating, it, it helps clear your mind to know, okay, is this person right, you know, for a good solid future or is it just in my imagination? So this will really help kind of open your mind up about that. Um, and not that you're just seeing and having a desire for something that isn't there. So I hope you enjoyed this video of Lapis Lazuli. So definitely get one, use it. Um, I amplified mine there up in Maine. And so I think it's still pretty strong. Definitely leave comments so I know, you know, what stones are you working with? What do you want to use it for? And it just helps the channel grow. So I will talk to you all soon. Bye.